Hey, what is up guys? Hope you guys are having a great Friday. Um, today I am actually off work and I'm actually just hanging out at the Casa. I uh, might make myself a little bit of a drink. Um, but I'm actually going to, actually, guys, I actually want to talk to you guys about um, a product called Pete and Pedro. Um, if you've seen some of my other videos, um, I did a video on Pete, uh, Pete and Pedro's uh, shampoo and conditioner. Uh, just a heads up on that one, I still actually do use that product, I actually quite like it. Um, but over the past few months, I've picked up some of their other, other products as well. And I just wanted to give just kind of like a, a small update. Uh, I guess you could call it a review on that as well. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to set you guys down. I'm actually going to do a review. So what I'm looking to do is I'm actually going to give you guys a review on the, the paste that they have, uh, the anti-itch dandruff shampoo, and then also the body wash. Now we'll start off with the body wash. I actually picked this up. Um, for their what was it um, April Fool's Day promotion it was 50% off as a body wash set so it comes with both of their body wash and then it also comes with one of those loofahs um, this is the first time that I've actually purchased both of, the, both of these um, the smell on them smells nice um, smells like typical guy stuff this one has this one's more like your um, I guess you could say like a fall, winter, and then this one here is more for like your spring or summer. Um, they both smell nice, um, but I guess the way that I could say that the smell is, it's, it's kind of like a smell that you'd pick up um, in a hotel. You know, sometimes hotels will give you uh, the free shampoo. That stuff smells nice, but the thing is, it doesn't have like a very luxurious smell, I guess you could say. Um, so it smells, both of these smell a little bit like aftershave, which obviously aftershave smells nice, but aftershave is something that I only want to put on my face and I want that smell to kind of dissipate after a few minutes. I don't want it to kind of linger all day long. I could also say though as well that um, it's not like an extremely powerful smell. Um, it's something that's just gonna, you know, it'll probably linger on you for maybe a couple of hours and then it kind of dissipates. Um, so I'm not that big a big of a fan of the smell. Um, like I said, it smells nice. It's just uh, It's not a luxurious smell. I know right the thing about it is It doesn't lather that good um, And a big part of that is a lot of products nowadays um, They're coming as sulfate free So unfortunately sulfates uh, are not good for your body uh, In some cases uh, or I should say in many cases that will actually dry your skin out um, and so because of that, sulfate sometimes will give uh, shampoos or soaps its lather, so you get a lot of bubbles. And this product, um, because it is sulfate free, you have, to, you have to use a lot of it. And, um, you know, again, the loofah that they have, that they provide, or I should say you can buy from them, is, it's kind of one of those loofahs that's very tight and compact. I have noticed that those types of loofahs are not very good at, um, you know, getting the, the soap to be very sudsy. Uh, and I do also use Dove as well, uh, Sensitive Skin Dove. And that one lathers okay with their loofah, but if you use one of those loofahs a little bit bigger, uh, they're not as compact, it, it, um, it works out well. And if you use this shampoo, uh, if you use this body wash in there, it does kind of lather a little bit better, but otherwise it's not very good at lathering. Um, it does make your skin feel nice. Uh, it does have some, um, you know, I guess you could say natural products. Um, so for example, it's got rosemary in there. It's got some sage, cucumber, uh, willow bark. So it, it does have good products in there. And like I said, um, it, smells, it smells nice. It's just not a luxurious smell. Um, so I think for me, this is the first Pete and Pedro product that I'm not 100% satisfied with. So if you guys are actually interested in this, I used a little bit of this, um, you know, cause I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll get used to the smell. Unfortunately, I didn't like it that much. Um, I haven't used this one at all. Use a little bit of this one. If you are interested in these, I will actually send these to you for free. Um, just make sure that you're from the U S and I will send it to you for free, free shipping and everything. Just leave uh, your name. Um, actually, how would we do this? Maybe 
uh, message me or just leave a, a, a comment at the bottom of the video and I will actually send you both of these for free. Let's go on to the Pete and Pedro um, control. So this is, um, I still also have the other shampoo as well, but I was kind of interested in trying this out because uh, my hair gets a little bit dry during the winter time um, and it gets a little itchy every now and then. And so uh, I want to give this a shot and see if it works. Now the thing about the product is that <clears throat> the main uh, ingredient in here that's gonna help control dandruff um, as well as control the itching is something called coal tar. Um, it is an actual byproduct of the petroleum industry um, however, coal tar has actually been around for quite a long time and it's good enough for people that have psoriasis. So if you have psoriasis, um, what it is, it's, um, it's an uh, autoimmune disease and your own body will attack your own skin. And so people like that will have usually kind of like flaky skin and they're very sensitive to products that have fragrances and, um, or harsh chemicals. So if it's good enough for people that have uh, coal, um, uh, psoriasis, it's good enough for your scalp and I, and I can actually confirm that it does actually work quite well. Tar, 100% is good. Um, in comparison to their normal shampoo that they have, it smells very similar. Um, it does have a peppermint smell, but then there is that there is another um, smell to it and that's definitely the cold tar and you'll, um, you'll definitely pick that up um, once you actually start using this. It has menthol in it, smells really good. Tea tree oil, just like the, uh, the, the main shampoo they got. It's got peppermint oil, and then it has uh, glycerin as well. This one is very nice. Um, I've had this for a few months, and as you can tell, I don't, uh, I'm not going through a whole lot of it. Um, but it, you know, because I only shampoo my hair twice a week, um, I expect this to last a pretty long time. And then here's, my other, here's the other product that I'm using. I'm using the Pete and Pedro uh, paste. Now the thing is, is that I have uh, curly hair and I don't really want a ton of product that's going to kind of weigh my hair down or give me like a, you know, like a, a shiny wet look. Uh, I just don't think it really fits kind of my, you know, persona, I guess you, should, you could say if I start slicking back my hair. Um, and so what I do is I use a paste. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, I actually get these uh, little flyaways. So my hair is very thick. And so in between haircuts, the sides here will actually kind of start to stick out a little bit. And so what I do is I actually use a paste. So it's just something to kind of weigh the hair down, keep the flyaways a little down a little bit. But also at the same time, I have noticed that this is very good at softening your hair. Um, it doesn't get very hard or crunchy like you would, like let's say like a gel would. Um, but it's still good enough that you can rub it through your hair when your your hair is like semi um, I should say a little little damp um, Put a, a hair dryer on it and it, it styles actually quite nicely. So I'm actually very impressed with this one um, All of these products I would say um, Are a little bit ex uh, Expensive in comparison to what you're getting from a store Like for example the, the body wash you could probably buy something at the store for half the price um, so I, I really can't recommend their body wash. Like I said, for me, it's their first miss. I, I can definitely recommend this. Um, mostly because it has tea tree oil and it's got a good smell to it. A lot of times, um, you know, if you'd use, uh, Head and Shoulders, the original, it smells okay. Um, but I think this, this is definitely a little bit better than Head and Shoulders. And then of course the paste is, uh, quite nice. So I know I'm kind of rambling on a little bit. Um, like I said, you know, for some people, these, these products are going to be fine. I guess maybe i um, just a picky bitch, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, I guess maybe in the past I've used products that were a little bit more expensive. So I guess, you know, what I'm comparing these products to maybe, um, you know, maybe that's not quite a fair comparison, but I still think I still think they're great products. If you can get the you know the body wash like I did for fifty percent off, um, I think you're winning. Um, but definitely, if you know if you have curly hair and you're looking for something that's not extremely heavy, give the paste a try. And then if you do have um, itchy scalp or you have a little bit of dandruff, give this a shot. It's definitely worth your money. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. See you. 
And then here's my other, here's the other product that I'm using. I'm using the Pete and Pedro uh, paste. Now the thing is, is that I have uh, curly hair and I don't really want a ton of product that's going to kind of weigh my hair down or give me like a, you know, like a, a shiny wet look. Uh, I just don't think it really fits kind of my, you know, persona, I guess you, should, you could say if I start slicking back my hair. Um, and so what I do is I use a paste. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, I actually get these uh, little flyaways. So my hair is very thick. And so in between haircuts, the sides here will actually kind of start to stick out a little bit. And so what I do is I actually use a paste. So it's just something to kind of weigh the hair down, keep the flyaways a little down a little bit. But also at the same time, I have noticed that this is very good at softening your hair. Um, it doesn't get very hard or crunchy like you would, like let's say like a gel would. Um, but it's still good enough that you can rub it through your hair when your your hair is like semi, um, I should say, a little little damp. Um, put a, a hair dryer on it, and it, it styles actually quite nicely. So I'm actually very impressed with this one. Um, all of these products, I would say, um, are a little bit ex uh, expensive in comparison to what you're getting from a store. I know I'm kind of rambling on a little bit. Um, like I said, you know, for some people, these these products are going to be fine. I guess maybe um, just a picky bitch. I guess you could say. <laughs> I still think I still think they're great products. If you can get the you know the body wash like I did for fifty percent off, um, I think you're winning. Um, but definitely, if you know if you have curly hair and you're looking for something that's not extremely heavy, give the paste a try. And then if you do have um, itchy scalp or you have a little bit of dandruff, give this a shot. It's definitely worth your money. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you in the next video. See you.